It seems to me that a lot of action thrillers are too long and too long-winded. The more you make them, the more you realize that you don't need to stretch this stuff out. It's not Hamlet. It should be as lean and mean as possible. It's important to go fast on a movie set because it is a waste of time and money to try to decide what you're going to do while the camera's rolling. Ideally, you'd be able to print the first take every time. There's not only an economy, but an energy in that kind of organization. Fortunately, we hired professionals for this shot. Caleb Deschanel is a world-class cinematographer. It was an honor to work with him, and we had a great collaboration. All right, so our move is going to be brain down very slowly as he runs off. Okay. Nice move, Jay. Thank you. What I spoke to him about in terms of the style of the film was induced documentary. It had to look as though it was actually happening. I didn't want to see the lighting. I didn't want to see composition. I wanted all of that to flow from the action, not be imposed on the action. So I got Caleb on board with that. It's been really exciting because I've never done a film that has this kind of excitement and chases the gritty toughness and, and energy that this has has been really fun. The camera is restless. The camera is never at ease. The camera is never comfortable with its subject because it doesn't know how that subject's going to evolve. Don't move. Put your hands on your head and get on the floor. Get down! I love to do a chase scene. I think I've only done about four because they're hard to think up. You're constantly trying to do something you haven't done before. Well, the car chase was very interesting because we kept saying, well, Billy, you know, we had to get from here to here. And so, well, we should have a car chase, Billy. I mean, you're about as famous for car chases as anybody. And he said, I don't know what the gimmick is here. What would make this different? We all came up with tons of ideas and Billy he goes, you know, we'll do a little bit more of the chase and we'll have him come around this corner and he'll come into a gridlock. So then we thought, well, everybody that gets in this gridlock situation, I have, and I'm sure you probably have, all you want to do is just put it in reverse and whack it and whack it. Just start banging people. That was something that wasn't in the original script that, again, Billy uh, will come up with an idea. I wanted a big action scene at that point in the film. And as with The French Connection or any of the other films I've made, the sequence itself was dictated by the terrain. When I saw the Hawthorne Bridge and realized we could get it on weekends for specified periods of time, I decided to build an entire sequence just around that bridge. That was never really written. It was never storyboarded. I, I don't storyboard. We tried to pin all the action to what could happen on that bridge, which struck me as a really imposing piece of architecture. Shutting off the bridge was cold and windy, <laughs> and we had a lot of extras, and there were scenes where cars were going back and forth, and a railroad car going through with FBI people. Let's see how it works. Yeah. Like we the way we Billy doesn't want to, you know, use computer-generated things and all that. He wants everything to be reality-based. This should be in. Okay. By the yeah. time he crosses them, they're in, and they go into action. Here we go. Stand by. Roll up. Roll in. On the east side. Take it back on the east side. Keep that car. I think it comes out of his background as a documentary filmmaker that he's constantly looking for that freshness. 
I think he will do anything he can do to cause that using non-professionals or doing things that actually somewhat frighten the producer, making things seem a little bit more out of control than they really are. <laughs> There's an energy to that that I don't really get from pretty much anybody else I've worked with. Casimo. That sequence is almost completely made up of actual accounts of what happened in Pristina in 1999. Okay. Say, Albanians, leave this village now or you will die. We will kill your children and you and be heard and served. We'll record it. This was a savage, vicious war that was uh, only resolved by more and greater warfare. The Kosovo set is the most amazing set that was created. All of those streets and everything were designed by the production designer, Bill Cruz, and his people. The look and feel of that, you know, lends so much surreality to the film right from the beginning. Our effects people went in there and rigged gas lines and fire lines and there's two, three blocks of buildings and stuff everywhere. So at any given time, they could light the whole three blocks on fire if they wanted. We had children working, and we were trying to be real, real, real careful. I mean, like that little girl, you'll notice there's stunt people all around her in a big circle. You know, there's this little girl, and you assume that her mom and dad are killed right there, and she walks over, and he watches her. That's terrible. That was Billy's idea. You know, it's the horror of war. I would certainly bet there were a couple of hundred um, civilian extras, and then there were a lot of stuntmen. Not that we actually expected anything to happen. I mean, we were being very secure with the explosion. But I have to say, I breathed easier after we got done with the civilians. Let me say action, and she gets shot. The whole deal. We had all of those people working in the midst of this fire. We had automatic weapons, 50 calibers, tanks going through the street, firing explosions. We had heavy explosions. John, take the fire to the sky. Being on the set, these things were so huge from the heat of the explosion. You could just feel the heat searing your skin. Billy wanted dead bodies in the street, and I had 90 dummies. The first take burnt 15 dummies down to nothing, and I said, holy mackerel, we got to move these out farther. Billy likes to do long, moving shots where things are happening for a long period of time. So one of our takes might last a minute and a half. Just yeah. fun, yeah. Yeah. 